video and welcome back. Oh my gosh, it is going to be pouring here any minute. All week we have gotten nothing but rain and cold weather, which has been wonderful in one hand, but in the other hand, it keeps me from coming out here. But today I have to do it, hopefully before it really starts pouring. Now, the most intimidating part of working out in my backyard is the simple fact that I'm going to be working underneath my large eucalyptus tree and when it blows that thing sways around like nobody's business and it's a little intimidating but what i'm going to do is i'm going to be planting two more purple mist uh they're called purple mist hebes and uh i will show you exactly what's happening over here but in the springtime, I also planted right over here where I had planted a purple miss hebe already. And I planted that purple shrimp. Well, that purple shrimp seeded out, and now I've got baby purple shrimp babies <laughs> plants growing in that same area. So what I'm also going to do is transplant those over to this area. I was going to clean up this area, but we are in fall time and it's windy out and because of that this huge eucalyptus tree is starting to shed even more leaves than it normally does and so it doesn't make any sense for me to clean it up so uh, bear with me on what it looks like but i will show you a before and after this is the purple mist hebe that i actually planted earlier in the in in the summer now when it becomes leggy like this you can actually trim these back and typically you want to trim them uh, in the spring once they bloom but you can still cut them back if they're really leggy like this just so that they're not floppy and you can do a hard uh cut back on these but typically i would do it in the springtime uh, early in the springtime but for now, what I am going to do is kind of at least cut back some of these long leggy ones. But look at how tall that gets. That is supposed to get about two feet by three feet tall and wide. So it's going to get big. But do you see all of this purple shrimp over here? Look at how large that is. And so these are all from seedlings. So I have to pull those out and then place them over here. They'll get a lot more sun over in this area. And these are also a spring bloomer. So I'm actually kind of surprised that these popped up. Uh, but yeah, those to show that you can uh, easily repropagate uh, shrimp from, uh, from seeds. Because these, these were just from the seeds that dropped. Now when I planted this, I actually planted it I mean, I just basically threw it in the ground because I was leaving on vacation. So I will be picking that up and placing it further back and just kind of placing them all right in this area. I'm not going to fertilize because you really don't want to fertilize in the fall. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use biotone. This is just root starter. So that way it kind of helps establish this plant. So first off, what I'm going to do is uh, take all my shrimp and transplant it over in this area. Now, where I'm trying to cut it is where I see in the node, if there's new growth coming out, that's where I'm gonna trim it. And right here is a couple of new leaves. I'm gonna cut it right above that.
that's gonna do it but it looks so much nicer I know I said I wasn't gonna pick up the leaves but I went ahead and did that just to make it look a lot prettier I'm happy that I did it my glasses are steaming up on me but I put all my put all my shrimp here put all my hebe's over here they're gonna get plenty of rain so I'm not gonna water them and then I just kind of cleaned up and tidied up over here let me bring you really close but thank you so much for watching. It is raining. So good timing. Okay, so right here's where I planted all the blue shrimp. There was a lot more than I ever expected. So that's going to fill in this whole area right here really nicely. And they will get probably about two feet tall. So it's going to cascade kind of even with uh, my coreospis here. But it's going to be beautiful with blue shrimp come springtime. We'll see how well that pans out for me. Keep you updated. And then this is where I put all three hebes. Now, these will get two feet by three feet. So this will look like one giant um, shrub. And that's kind of what I'm going for. So that's going to look really beautiful come springtime with all the purple flowers on it can't wait to see that happen i'll bring you along uh again i will be continuing to keep this uh black lace elderberry trimmed up so that all these get proper sun i think that's why my russian sage is blooming and continuing to bloom because now it gets some sun uh, i will be changing this out next year for a different type of russian russian sage uh, this one gets a little bit taller more leggy uh, but we'll see uh, next spring what happens. But that's what I'm thinking right now. But it's still blooming, so it's a good thing. And then I just kind of went ahead and cleaned all this up. It looks so much more uh, tidier now that I cleaned it. And uh, yeah, things are going dormant. It's that time of the year. But uh, I'm glad to get those in the ground. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one.